there's a lot of groups out there that tell people reasons to try a vegan diet, but there isn't really one group that's just focused on supporting people who, who want to try a vegan diet. So that was really, you know, the premise of Veganuary. Some, uh, some apples and uh, the cheese sauce with parsley oil. So I use 2018 as being the, the baseline for plant-based and I see 2018 being actually where the industry really put a stake in the ground within the UK market to say, okay, plant-based is here and let's get it going. <laughs> So it's, it's different from normal Indian bread? Do you like it? Yeah. Every year, you know, the numbers went up and up and up. And in about 2019, it really took a turn in that the businesses in the UK started taking notice. You know, that was the year Greg's brought out their vegan sausage roll for Veganuary. And at that point, businesses realized there's a huge appetite for these products. In the last few years, it's been about a third of participants who've said, I'm actually going to stay vegan now after dipping my toe in the water for a month. And the number one reason why they choose to do that is it's easier than they expected it to be. And then of the remainder, about 75% say, I'm not going to stay vegan, but I'm going to cut back by at least 50%. I mean, in the first few years, we were easily seeing 10 to 12 percent growth across meat alternatives and dairy alternatives. Dairy alternatives is actually faring better. I think that's one of been one of the success stories within within retail has been dairy alternatives. The, in terms of stagnation, I think there's different hypotheses. So, what I my my personal uh, perspective and stance is actually the first few years really met un, uh, vegan unmet needs so as a vegan four years ago five years ago plus you were really challenged to find products in, in retail stores and it was, a lot of it was scratch cooking so since then we've been able to service vegans very well in the uk market so i think that created the initial boom in sales Now we're starting to see, okay, well, things are starting to flatline a little bit. So I think it's in interesting because we get to a point in industry where we see the market settle a little bit. We're seeing the biggest growth in signups in the Latin American countries, which is really encouraging. <laughs> we got YouGov to look at the UK since we started in 2014. And they found that about 9% of the British public have actually taken part since we started. So that would be about 6 million people in the UK, which is just way more than the number who have officially signed up. They want to experiment, you know, and they want to try cooking more from scratch and they want to try new recipes now that they realized, actually, there is a whole world of food out there I can experiment with. So we tend to call those transition foods. Yeah. 
we should probably start thinking about plant-based as being health, driving the health and sustainability agenda and meat reduction agenda versus necessarily driving vegan agenda. It's important that we service vegan needs, but it's also important that we really start focusing on health and sustainability of the food system. So.